the, 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 the biggest and, and in-your-face example, of course, is Arctic sea ice extent. In 2012, a new record was set in terms of a minimum sea ice extent, beating the 2007 record by an area greater than the size of Alberta. And that 2007 record, in turn, beat the 2005 record by an area greater than the size of Ontario. And the amount that we're back from the normal conditions is greater than an area the size of Ontario, Quebec, and Alberta combined. So there is, the Arctic is on a path to become ice free, ice free in the summer in the next few decades. And this is going to happen regardless of the policy decisions we make today. So this is something we need to adapt to. So that's, bell, that's indicator number one. Indicator number two, around the world, most of the world's glaciers, another frozen uh, part of the climate system, are melting. And you would expect that to be the case. If, as you warm, you'd expect glaciers to melt. And that is indeed happening around the world. If you go to the Canadian Rockies, for example, many of the Canadian glaciers are, are melting rather rapidly. That's indicator number two. Number three is, and they all come together. I mean, you can ask the question, if the world warms, what should happen? Well, ice should melt, water should expand, temperatures should go up, and when temperatures go up, you should get more precipitation and increased drought. And in fact, this is what you're seeing. So, so I've given you two ice, now let's go to the oceans. Uh, ocean sea level should be rising. And in fact, around the world, Evidence is very clear that the sea level is rising, and it's rising because of two, two causes. One is the water is warming, and as it warms, it thermally expands. And in addition, land on ice that's melting puts water into the ocean. So that's happening. Number, th number four, we would expect in a warming t climate to see more warm records be broken than cold records. And we're seeing this around the world, is that the number of, da number of daily high records is going up, uh, being broken, is, is, is occurring more than twice the rate of the number of daily cold records. And so what that means is we're getting more and more extreme warm events. We'd expect to see that. In a warming climate, we move on, we'd expect to see increased precipitation in extreme events, and we're seeing that evidence throughout the world. But at the same time, we'd expect to see the increased likelihood and occurrence of summer drought, and we're seeing that as well throughout the world. So, so you know, then we start to look at, at, at things like ecosystem responses. As the world warms, you would expect to see spring come a little earlier and, and fall come a little later. And in fact, there's evidence, very strong evidence, that spring is coming earlier and affecting when flowers bloom, affecting when, when various animals come out of hibernation, when mating habits occur. And so, so this is also around, you'd expect as a warming climate to see certain ecological zones move northward and uphill, and there's evidence that this is happening. You'd expect permafrost and the surface layers of that permafrost to start to melt, evidence around the world that this is occurring, and on and on and on. The real question is, is there any evidence of stuff going on on a global scale that is contrary to what you would expect because of warming uh, atmosphere in response to human emissions of carbon dioxide? And the answer is no.